Welcome to Fit for Life. I'm back, Karen McKenzie, and uh, kind of excited about this show because it's all about balance, and this is really, really important. Uh, how is your balance? What do you think? There are so many things that contribute to, to poor balance, especially as we age, and um, I'm going to give you some of those reasons in a minute, but um, most of this class, if not all of it, is going to be standing. So whenever you need to sit, you're at home, you can do whatever you want. Uh, the show is a half hour show. If you feel you have to sit down, that's fine. There might be some things that we're doing standing that you can do seated. But I think it's really important. Uh, I just want you to understand that there are many, many things that affect your balance. Now, first one is weak muscles. Now the class I did the last time, or the show I did rather, uh, we talked about strengthening the legs. So that's really important. So weak muscles contribute to poor balance. Poor posture contributes to poor balance. If you're walking around forward like this, sometimes we can't help it if we have arthritis. Also, any kind of dizziness, either from inner ear problems, prescription drugs, uh, even some herbal medicines can cause a little bit of lightheadedness. So always check with your doctor, check with your pharmacist, pharmacist especially. Foot problems, uh, poor fitting shoes, um, you really need tie shoes if you're going to walk a lot or if you're going to exercise. You want to keep that foot nice and stable. Also arthritis again, joint problems, back problems will contribute to poor balance. So we're going to stand up now. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is heel lifts. Uh, now this isn't s such a great exercise in particular for, uh, for balance, but it strengthens the foot. So when you're lifting your heels up, you're strengthening the foot, you're strengthening your ankle, and you're strengthening all of your lower leg, which includes the calf, right? So while I'm talking, I mean, you can do this sitting down if you can't stand up, and you're still getting a little exercise there. What it does is it contracts the calf muscle, the gastrocnemius, they call it. I don't know why it has such a long name, but we will stretch it out too after we do these heel lifts. Uh, do about 10 of those. And all you're doing is lifting your heel. And I can stand this way. Maybe you can see me better, what I'm doing. And if you want, you can hold each one a little bit longer. But when you're through with 10, your feet are parallel. They're straight. They're not turned out. You can bend those knees. Just bending those knees as far down as you can go will stretch out those calf muscles. Can you feel it? And it, it, will, strength, it will strengthen your quadriceps just a little bit. All right, great. So let's do 10 more together. So lifting up and two. If you need to hold on with two hands, you can get behind your chair or to the side of the chair. I'm just standing this way. My chair is facing that way just because I want you to watch me and see exactly what I'm doing. I'm gonna say this is at least six. This is seven, good. Watch your posture, eight, good. And I can feel it, that calf gets very tight, doesn't it? Last one. Now what we will do for a better stretch is to just step back a little bit and then bend both knees. And that will stretch the calf and the soleus muscle underneath the calf muscle, okay? Feels pretty good? So you're stretching it out, it's been contracting and now we're stretching it out, good. Stretching is good, very good for exercise. The other foot in back, keep nice and straight and bend both knees, your feet are straight forward. Holding on, you can hold on. Oh boy, I can feel that for sure. Wow. And then we'll come back up. All right, I'm gonna face you now, you stay where you are. Actually, if you're behind your chair, you will need to come to the side of the chair. Much better. All right, now we're gonna do just a very easy leg, a leg swing, just to warm up. Either, either leg, it doesn't matter. And three, and if you want to hold on with one finger, and then that will be a challenge for your balance. Kind of throws you off a little. So if you can kick like this and just hold on with one finger or keep that kick low, really important. And you're strengthening that supporting leg while you do this. Easy stuff, right? Nothing to it. Do at least 10 of those. If you want to do 20, that's fine. I, mean, I think we've probably done at least 15, right? Now, if you don't want to hold on at all, you can do a couple. Oops, see, that's what happens, all right. 
good. Let's do the other side. Don't do what I just did. We'll try the other side, front and back. Now, I, I can feel that almost in my waist a little bit, in the hip. Feels good. I'm going to say five and six and seven and eight and nine. Let's do just 15. And this is 11, 12. It's kind of fun, really. You're loosening everything up. The lower body, good. All right, we'll stop right there. Uh, just to relax the legs a little bit, just bend your knees, good. If you need to sit down, go right ahead. All right, ah, feels great. Uh, what I'd like you to try while we're here is just to lift those heels up and stay there. Just stay there for a couple of seconds. Now hold on with one finger. Yep, whoops. You know, I've got a new shoe on and it, it's, I think it's almost too soft. It's actually better to wear a shoe, a harder shoe. It holds the foot in place and it's easier to balance. So you can hold on with one finger or your whole hand. Just not used to doing it here, that's why. Let's bend those knees again and we'll come up just like we did before and bend. So we're still strengthening those legs and bend again. Good, one more time. Great. So that was kind of easy, right? Now what I'd like you to do is kick to the back. One and two. This is a little stretch too for your quadriceps. Four and five. Keep that. This is good. And back and back. Not really counting here, but it's, it's an exercise that isn't done that often when we're standing. So I like to go back a little bit. We, mostly everything we do is in front, right? All right, now we're gonna do some knee lifts. We should have done that before this. Lift up, good, see that? Does that feel good? Again, holding on with one finger. So it's a little, tiny bit of a challenge. If you wanna do a couple without holding on. Now, some people might say, well, gee, that's so easy. Of course we can do that. But for some people, it isn't that easy. So we're just gonna lift and lift a little faster, almost like aerobics, isn't it? We use this in aerobics, five. So these are you know, fairly easy balance exercises, but I'm getting you to move in all different directions uh, and to also move different parts of the legs and lower body up and up. Wonderful, good. Four and five, six. And when you get used to moving like this, you improve your balance. You just have to do different things. Just walking around like this isn't going to improve your balance. Uh, walking will help a little bit, but you've got to do it more often, right? All right, try this one. This, um, this is more of a stretch, but try it anyway, because sometimes this throws people off. Cross one foot over like that and just drop down. So what we're really doing here is more of a stretch. But even something like this, when you're crossing over, can throw some people off balance. So you're going to feel a stretch in the back. You're going to come up. Think of pushing those hips forward a little bit. We'll do a little bit of a back bend. Doesn't that feel good? I love that. Wonderful. And then bring your arms down. All right. Let's try the other side. Cross that foot over and just stretch down, stretch down. So you're getting a good stretch. Tight muscles also, if you're not exercising at all, not just weak muscles, but tight muscles will also throw off your balance. And we'll do a little, you're holding on now, right? We're doing a little bit of a back bend. And the only reason I'm doing the back bend is because everything we do in life is forward. Even most of our exercises, everything is forward. We need to go back. So we're gonna do something about that in another show. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, grab some water. Let's have a little water break. I have my water right here. My pretty blue bottle. The water is not blue, but it looks like it. And I have a little lemon water in here also. Very healthy stuff. If you need to sit for a minute, go right ahead. There are so many different things that we can do for ourselves to keep the body strong, to give you more endurance, more strength, more flexibility. 
but the endurance thing, we need to do that, that yoga breath helps with endurance. Walking helps with endurance. All right, so now we're gonna do a few exercises that might be a little more challenging. Again, all to improve your balance. So here's what we're gonna do. I think I'm gonna pull this chair back a little bit so I have a little bit more room. Here's what you're gonna do. Point front, that's difficult, isn't it? Side, back, and close. So easy, but not if you're not used to it, right? Front, side, back, and close. Front, side. So three different body directions, right? So it's front, side, back. Don't worry about arms, okay, and close. Just hold your arms out. Do it a little faster if you can. Sometimes I incorporate this into aerobics, our aerobics, so it goes faster to the music. But it's a little challenge. Yes, try it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Too easy for you? That's good. That's great if it's too easy. But at least you're moving. The joy of movement, really important. Let's do, hmm. All right, this one. I think we better go back to the chair on this one just to be, just to be safe. One foot, now this one looks real easy too. One foot in front, so that's toe to heel, isn't it? Right here, toe to heel. Whoops, and see if you can balance there. Holding on, you don't have to let go unless you wanna just try it for a few seconds. It looks so simple, but it's not that easy. It really isn't. All right, let's relax for a minute. Let's come back, bend those knees, good. All right, now I'm gonna do it with the other foot. The other foot in front, and just see if you can stand there. What I'd really like you to do, maybe in your kitchen, or in your living room, if you can get behind your couch, or something that you can hold on to, and just do this kind of walking with one foot in front of the other. One foot in front, one foot in front, then go back and back and back and back, or, I'm gonna get behind my chair here and just take a couple of steps. Uh, one foot in front of the other. You can go forward this way, still hold on, take a few more steps without holding on. There's so many things you can do to just kind of practice. But uh, don't be discouraged, it takes time. You, you don't just do everything perfectly the first time. Uh, what I'd like to do now is um, a yoga move. Let's do a yoga move. We've done it before, it's called the yoga tree. Do you remember? Let's see if I can do this without the chair, huh? This is it, the prayer hands. Heels are close, they don't have to be touching, you're nice and tall, you're gonna lift your heel up. So there you are, this part of it. Normally the arms are up here and your foot is up there, but we're not gonna do that today, right? Keep them down. Bring that foot a little bit closer in, nice and tall. Make sure your weight is over the front part of the foot, of the supporting leg, so you can lift your heel up. If you're back on your heel, you won't be able to lift your heel up. Just lift your foot up and put it down. Lift it up and put it down. How does that feel? Up and down again, up and down again. All right, so that's it. That's basically it. We're doing it for balance, we're doing the easy version of it. But if you can just lift that foot up for a couple of seconds, I'm trying to tuck under here and make sure I can leave that foot up. Tuck it under, tuck it under. Even if it's for two seconds, that's fine, right? All right, heels close. A little bit of this. That's our little plie, right? We're gonna do a, a ballet move next, but I want you to do the other side for the tree. Okay, so here's your heels close. All right, just lift that foot. Uh, I forgot to remember that the knee shouldn't be straight like this, it should be turned out. See the difference? Turned out is a, a ballet term, right? Here we go. Nice and tall, bring the foot in. Can you balance there without holding on? Just doing this. So you need to stay near your chair if there's a problem, and you're just gonna lift up and put it down. Up, put it down. Up, whoops, put it down up and put it down and then just try to hold it there for as long as you can. That side wasn't as good for me. 
but I haven't been doing them either. So, uh, so that was um, a yoga move for balance, which is good. Just something different that we can do. Um, let's do our ballet step. Our ballet. It's called passe, which means what? Passing from front to back, right? So let's put let's put this foot in front first. I won't use that chair for that. Lift it up and put it in back. So if you're right next to your chair, you won't be able to do this. I find this like nothing, it's easy, very easy, but you're not used to doing it. So it might be, um, whoops, a little bit of a challenge. What do you think? Uh, how are you doing? So all the while, all the while you're doing all of these exercises, you're strengthening, you're strengthening your body, especially your lower body because we walk with our legs, not our arms, up and front. So it's called, what is it called? Passe, up and front, up and back. How do you feel? Now for those people who have not sat down, are you getting tired? Maybe you're not used to standing and exercising for this long. But again, for others, this will be easy stuff, especially if you know a little bit about ballet, right? Let's kick back just to loosen those legs up. Great. So I guess I'm getting a, a workout today, which I need, but I always do my morning exercises. And I like to walk, but it's been raining, so it's not so easy. Uh, I'm just gonna put the other foot in front now, good. And lift it up and put it in back. Lift it up, put it in front. And notice the knee is turned out here too. If you, if you can only do it with the knee in like this, that's fine. Up and back. Up. Oh, I just thought of another one I'm going to give you. Up and back. Up and front. You're going to sleep good tonight. Up and back. Up and down. Up and down. I'm just do using the arms to be fancy. Up. And it feels kind of good too, don't you think? Yes, it does. One more and just bring that foot to the front. Wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. Try this with me. All right. Do you need a rest? Grab some water if you need a rest. All right, step forward, step back. How about that? Forward, back. Then we'll do something to the side. Forward and back. Keep going. Just put the foot in front. Just put it in back. Just put it in front. It's a little bit aerobic too. It's almost like walking, isn't it? Yeah. Feels good, yeah, forward and back, and forward, and back. Yay, forward. Uh, let's do the other side, though. All right, forward. And it's fun to do it to music. Um, I also incorporate this into aerobics. When we do our dancing, it's a lot of fun. Back, and forward, and back. Again, you can use your arms or not. Normally, uh, the arms and legs are in opposition, right? Like when you're walking. Okay, and back, and forward, and back. We're almost done. We're almost done, folks. Um, I do want to give you one more exercise to the side. See how you do on this. Um, you might want to get behind your chair. I'm going to have you lift your knee. You might touch the chair and just go out to the side. All right, and then maybe lift the other knee and drop to the side, but I'm gonna come where you can see me, all right? Good. All right, so you're gonna lift, lift the heel, arms out, nice and tall. Make sure your weight is slightly forward, not like this. You just bring the whole body forward a little bit, nice and tall. Lift the foot up for a couple of seconds and fall to the side. What about that? Strengthening this and bring it back. Lift the other heel, arms out. Kind of easy, isn't it? Lift up for a couple of seconds and fall to the side. Oh, we love that. I like this one. All right. Up, hold, hold as long as you can before you fall to the side. And lift that heel up nice and tall and whoosh. All right, again, arms out. Lift up, 
and to the side. All right, good. One more. I feel like I'm going into a trance here. Lift up, whoops, and fall to the side. Wonderful. Just step to the side. Now we can end with our little dance. We did a lot today, but this is, this is an important show, and we're going to do it again. And I will always add a little balance into um, other things that we do, especially our um, aerobics. All right, one more thing. You're gonna reach and reach and then turn your feet out. You're gonna bend this knee. Look down, make sure the knee is over the front part of your foot, not in or out. Your foot should be flat, right? Now just doing this is a balance exercise. You can do this behind your chair if you have to hold on. You can hold on here and let's do our nice yoga lunge. This too would be great for balance, and you're strengthening this, yes? Nice and tall, bend the right knee. The other leg is straight, isn't it? And reaching and reaching up, great. Ooh. How does that feel? Terrific. One last thing, I keep saying that, I know. But I'd like you to get behind your chair. So your, your chair is like this. I'm going to put mine like this but you stay right where you are. We're gonna do one last exercise for stretch and balance, and here we go. All right, with either leg, either side, you're gonna point the toe, all right, the ball of the foot comes down, and then the heel. If you don't feel a stretch in your calf muscle, you have to go back a little bit more. The front knee is bent, but should be just a little bit forward of the ankle. Okay, good, and stretch. Bend that knee and feel a nice stretch in your calf muscle here. I'm gonna go back even more. I have very long legs, of course. Push yourself up. So this is really for posture, too. So you're strengthening, you're stretching, posture, and if you can let go, even for one second, this is a great exercise for balance. Make sure you pull that chin in. Can you do this one? This looks like yoga, doesn't it? Are you all there? Hello? Okay. <laughs> I'll try the other side. You're gonna point and then put your toe down. Make sure your leg is fairly straight. This is, this is how you know how to do that, uh, that walking stretch or that running stretch. You know how far, far back to go. Just straighten the leg out, glue it to the floor, ball of the foot comes down, pull the heel down. Oh, that feels good, that feels good. I'm gonna come a little closer. Front knee is bent, make sure it's not forward like that. You want it really kind of over the ankle. Push yourself up, Push, pull the chin in. If you need to get closer to the chair, that's fine. So we're stretching, strengthening, we're doing posture, balance work, and if you can lift your arms up, you're doing everything at one time. Isn't that amazing? It really is, I love it, I love it. All right, we're gonna sit down and relax now. We're almost done, we've just got a couple of minutes. So um, now you know how many things, I mean there are more that you can do for balance. Uh, there's tons of exercise for strength training and stretching, but there are some basics uh, and I will be giving you those in uh, future shows. So try to remember, we need all six components. We need strength training twice a week, don't forget. Stretching should be done, if you can, every day. Um, you've got to walk somehow. Even if you have to dance in front of your television or walk around your apartment or your home, find a way to move. So already we've covered three basic fitness components. There's proper nutrition as we age. There's, well, you know about the balance. And there's also stress management which uh, we really don't have time for today. We were gonna do a little bit of meditation uh, and we do that with the yoga breath and we just try to th think about nothing or something pleasant. Uh, just be in the moment, be thankful for what we have, but use exercise to get you through the stress of the times. It does help, you're doing something good for yourself, you'll be ready for the future and um, I just love doing this show, and I hope you're enjoying it. And uh, we'll see you the next time.
So have a good day. We don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Keep that in mind. So um, bye for now. See you next time. Bye-bye.